hope you may be wondering how Clover Grove Stables got its name. And that is exactly what this story is about. It's a story about one wild herd. The lead stallion's name was Tuggles. The youngest stallion's name is Frisky, and he's munching on some yummy green grass. It's a peaceful day for the herd. And all of the land was peaceful. This area that Tuggles took his herd isn't the place for the best green grass, as you can see on the ground. It was getting quite late in the day, but the grass here was the softest for rolling and for sleeping. But the one thing this area has that no other area has is the wild herd's favorite snack, some clovers to munch down on. The herd really liked any kind of clovers, as long as they were clovers. Downside is, this area still doesn't have many either. This older stallion here is named Spirit. He is basically second in command. For example, he helps the lead stallion when things get tough. And if the lead stallion needs to go for something, he can take over. The youngest stallion in Frisky was munching on more hay, and that was when he realized that he might not have much longer in this herd. The problem is, this herd owns all the territory, even for hours away. He had to think of a plan fast. How he did that was by talking to the leaders. The two lead stallions were impressed that Frisky was thinking ahead. And for that, Spirit let out a whinny, meaning that he was allowed to use some of their territory when he leaves. <laughs> he replied back with another whinny, he had just to say thank you. <laughs> and with that, it's time to munch on some more grass. Probably still wondering how this involves Clover Grove Stable's name. Well, here is how it works. Lead Stallion Tuggles heard a hoof print noise coming really close. It sounded quite far away, and they did share territory with more herds, so he continued grazing. Meanwhile, at the other side of the grazing ground, there's Mystery just munching on some hay, and she was thinking of all their territory. Why it is important for her to think of all the territory is because she's going to need to leave to have her full. She needs to find a safe place to have it. Then she got the perfect idea. She would go to the forest. The forest was huge and kind of scary. Mystery wasn't scared, not if it meant she could have her foal there. And so she let out a whinny to the rest of the herd that she would be leaving. <laughs> Tuggles wished her luck, who is the lead stallion, and he's going to make sure that she comes back safe. And the rule for it is, if they don't come back in a day, then they, he let out a search party. That's why it's important to make sure that they know you are gone. It took a long time to get to the forest. And on her way, she found something that they've never seen before. <laughs> was a whole meadow of clovers. Thought to herself she'd never seen anything so amazing. Of course, she had to take just a nibble before leaving. Where she was eating became one of the, the places with the least clovers. At least the one with the most dead ones. Anyway, it's time to continue on her journey to the forest. She never took that way to the forest ever before. That was how she knew this foal was going to be great. She didn't think it through very far. Where in this would be a safe place to have a foal? The thing was, Mystery was determined 
she knew she would find a place to have her foal here. And so that's what she was going to do. Just what she was going to do. That was when she found it. A very cozy, mossy patch. And that's how she found the perfect place to have her foal. <laughs> Mystery was so proud with her new baby, but it was time to head back to the herd. With her baby, of course. Nothing much was happening back at the herd. The lead stallion was very anxious for her to return. It was right then when he realized he heard the hoof prints again. We're getting much closer. Unfortunately, he couldn't leave until Mystery was back. He was really wishing that he would have listened to them before and moved the herd while Mystery was still here. Obviously, it was too late for that. It was at that moment that he was able to see who the horse actually was. Saw it through his own eyes. It was a horse and rider. He knew that he had to run or else he'll be putting the rest of the herd in danger for two members. So with that, he ran. <coughs> he was the lead stallion. The rest of the herd just had to follow. It was a stampede now. He didn't know what else to do. All he knew was that he had to hurry up really quick and just do a snap thinking of where to bring his herd. He had no idea where. He was really hoping Mystery would come back. She has a great memory and she'd know good places to run. She wasn't here. He had to do it himself. So that's what he did. <laughs> Then, when he was running, his leg got stuck in a hole. <coughs> the rest of the herd saw this tragedy. Horse and rider were getting really close. Had two options. Stand here and wait for him, or run without him. They too took too long to decide. The horse and rider caught up. Began by trying to round up the herd. Ryder saw that the lead stallion was stuck. He was the lead stallion. He'd be worth thousands. She badly wanted to get him, and so she did. She got the lead stallion's foot out of the hole, luckily. But she forgot to put a halter and lead on first. <laughs> That's when he heard a new set of hoof prints coming really close. It sounded like there was maybe a small horse with a big horse. You only had one guess for that. Mystery and her new foal. <coughs> she went in to tell the herd to follow her. She knew the perfect spot for them. The rider followed the herd really closely and then lost them. Tree took them to that clover meadow, and of course, the rest of the herd followed her. And of course, her baby, too. Herd stayed there for the rest of their days, and there was also a creek nearby so they could get some water from there too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this explained how Clovergrove Stables got its name. Didn't already get it. Clovergrove Stables was named after that meadow that the wild herd stayed for the rest of their days. Happy forever.